Welcome back to Bible Quizzes. We have another 40 questions for you guys based on the miracles of Jesus. So let's get started. Question one, which New Testament book documents Jesus' first miracle? Mark, Luke, or John? John, John 2.11, this beginning of miracles did Jesus. Two, Jesus' first miracle was feeding the 5,000, walking into water, or turning water into wine. Turning water into wine. John 2, 9. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom. John 2, 11. This beginning of miracles did Jesus. 3. In what event did Jesus perform his first recorded miracle? A funeral, a wedding feast, or a Passover celebration? A wedding feast. John 2, 2. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. 4. How many water pots did Jesus turn water into wine? Three, six, or eight. Six. John two six, and there were set there six water pots. Five. What type of containers did they use when Jesus turned water into wine? Wooden barrels, clay jars, or stone water jars? Stone water jars. John 2, 6-7. And there were set there six water pots of stone, after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firkins apiece. Jesus saith unto them, Fill the water pots with water, and they filled them up to the brim. 6. After tasting the wine, what comment did the master of the feast make to the bridegroom? You have saved the best till now? This is truly a miracle, or who made this wine? Ye have saved the best till now. John 2.10 And saith unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine. And when men have well drunk, then that which is worse, but thou hast kept the good wine until now. 7. Who noticed the wine was gone and informed Jesus? The bridegroom, the servants, or Mary? Mary, John 2, 3-4, And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus, Mary, saith unto him, They have no wine. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. 8. Who was sick when Jesus arrived at Peter's house? Peter's brother, Peter's wife, or Peter's mother-in-law? Peter's mother-in-law, Matthew 8, 14. And when Jesus was come into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother laid and sick of a fever. 9. Peter's mother-in-law was suffering from what? A fever, Matthew 8, 14. And when Jesus was come into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother laid and sick of a fever. 10. How did Jesus heal Peter's mother-in-law? He commanded the fever to leave, touched her hand, or prayed for her. He touched her hand, Matthew 8, 15. And he, Jesus, touched her, Peter's mother-in-law, hand, and the fever left her. 11. Once cured by Jesus, how did Peter's mother-in-law react? She fell asleep, she praised Jesus, or she began to serve them. She began to serve them. Matthew 8, 15. And he touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she arose and ministered unto them. 12. Who came to Jesus after the miracle at Peter's home? Those seeking wisdom, those possessed with devils, or those asking for financial help. Those possessed with devils. Matthew 8.16 when, when the even was come, 
They brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word, and healed all that were sick. 13. How did Jesus establish his control of sickness and evil spirits? Through his word, Matthew 8.16, When the even was come, they brought unto him that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word, and healed all that were sick. 14. In Matthew 8.17, Jesus' actions confirm what? It proved his control of nature, it reflected his compassion, or the fulfillment of prophecy. The Fulfillment of Prophecy Matthew 8.17 that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Esaias the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities and bare our sickness. 15. Who sought Jesus' help for his sick son? A nobleman, a fisherman, or a Pharisee? A nobleman. John 4, 46-47 And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum, when he heard that Jesus and besought him that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. 16. How did Jesus respond to the nobleman's plea for his son's recover me, recovery? Follow me, be patient, or thy son liveth. Thy son liveth. John 4.50 Jesus saith unto him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him, and he went his way. 17. How did the nobleman react when his son was healed? He believed, he doubted, or he questioned. He believed. John 4.53 So the father knew that it was at the same hour in which Jesus said unto him, Thy son liveth, and himself believed and his whole house. 18. Who approached Jesus in the synagogue? Jealous Pharisee, man with unclean spirit, or curious scribe? A man with unclean spirit. Mark 1, 23-24. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. 19. What command did Jesus give to the unclean spirit? Leave quietly, rest in peace, or hold thy peace. 20. Hold thy peace. Mark 1.25 And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. 20. How did the evil spirit react after Jesus rebuked him? Silently left, torn him, or whispered secrets? Torn him. Mark 1.26 And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. 21. How many fish did Peter and the others catch before Jesus' help? Taken nothing, few fishes, or an abundant catch. 'Taken nothing. Luke 5, 5. And Simon answering said unto him, Jesus, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word I will let down the net. 22. What broke due to a great multitude of fishes, the ship, their net, or the ropes? Their net. Luke 5, 6. And when they had th this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. 23. After the miracle, what did Simon Peter acknowledge? I am chosen, I am lost, or I am sinful. I am sinful. Luke 5, 8. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. 24. After the big catch of fish, what was the disciples' action? Followed Jesus, distributed fish, or celebrated? Followed Jesus. Luke 5.11 And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all and followed him.
25. What did Jesus instruct about feeding the 5,000 men and others? Give them food, let them be, or send them off? Give them food. Matthew 14, 16. But Jesus said unto them, They need not depart. Give ye them to eat. 26. What food did the disciples say was available for the crowd? Two loaves and five fish, seven loaves and three fish, or five loaves and two fish? 5 loaves and 2 fish. Matthew 14:17. And they the disciples say unto him Jesus, we have here but 5 loaves and 2 fish. 27. After eating, what was the state of the multitude? Were filled, still hungry, or were weary? Were filled. Matthew 14:20. And they did all eat and were filled, and they took up of the fragments that remained twelve baskets full. 28. What did they do with the leftovers? They gathered the leftovers. Matthew 14, 20. And they did all eat and were filled, and they took up of the fragments that remained twelve baskets full. 29. What was Jesus' physical need when he arrived at the fig tree? Thirsty, hungry, or sleepy? Hungry. Mark 11, 12-13. And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry, and seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves, he came. 30. What does Jesus say will be impossible for anyone to do to the fig tree? Climb the tree, water the tree, or eat the fruit. Eat the fruit. Mark eleven fourteen. And Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. 31. Who heard what Jesus said to the fig tree? His family, disciples, or the Pharisees? His disciples, Mark eleven fourteen, and Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever, and his disciples heard it. 32. In what manner did Jesus go to the disciples across the sea, in another ship, by swimming, or by walking on the water? Walking on the water, John 6, 19. So when they had rowed about five and 20 or 30 furlongs, they see Jesus walking on the sea. 33, how did the disciples react when they saw Jesus? They rejoiced, they were afraid, or they were indifferent. They were afraid. John 6, 19. So when they had rowed about five and twenty or thirty furlongs, they see Jesus walking on the sea and drawing nigh unto the ship, and they were afraid. 34. What did Jesus tell his disciples as he came closer? Peace to you, it is a spirit, or it is I, be not afraid. It is I, be not afraid. John 6, 20. But he, Jesus, saith unto them, his disciple, it is I, be not afraid. 35. In which regions was Jesus when he came across the ten lepers? Samaria and Judea, Galilee and Samaria, or Bethlehem and Nazareth? Galilee and Samaria, Luke 17, 11. And it came to pass as he, Jesus, went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. 36. How did the lepers address Jesus when pleading for mercy? Lord save us, Jesus master, or Rabbi help us? Jesus master, Luke 17, 12 through 13. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him 10 men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus master, have mercy on us. 37. What were Jesus' instructions to the ten lepers for their recovery? Pray and fast, go to the priests, or wash in the Jordan?
go to the priests. Luke 17, 14. And when he, Jesus, saw them, he said unto them, ten lepers, go shoot yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. 38. How many of the cleansed lepers thanked Jesus? One, three, or nine? One, Luke 17, 15 through 16. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. 39. What was the nationality of the grateful leper? Israelite, Roman, or Samaritan? 1 Samaritan, Luke 17, 16, and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. 40. What did Jesus say to the grateful leper? Your obedience has healed you, your faith has healed you, or my power has healed you. 41. Your faith had healed you, Luke 17, 19. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. And that's all the questions we have for today. Remember, put your score in the comments below and share this with your friends and family to compare your scores. Then we'll see you in the next one.